just now I just shared with you the concepts behind mental difference. Now let's try one example. Okay? And in this example, we are supposed to sum from i equals to uh, i equals to 1. Okay, let's start let's from 1. Right? From i equals to 1 to i equals to n. And we are supposed to sum this expression 1 over r bracket r plus 1. So remember just now the concept which I share with you is I need to express this is my this is my gr right okay I need to express gr in terms of fr minus fr plus one right I need to I need to establish a minus in between and so the only method to do that is to split that up by partial fractions okay so that's the first step the first step is I need to express this expression as partial fractions. Okay, so can we call a partial fractions? So I'll get a over r plus b over r plus one. Okay, I shall not I shall not delve in deep into the partial fractions because it's covered in my in my previous lessons. So if you do a partial fraction correctly, you will get one over r minus one over r plus one. Okay. So this is how we split that into partial fractions. And so now you can see that I've expressed that into FR minus, can you see a minus in the center? 1 over FR, 1 over R plus 1. This is my FR plus 1. Okay? And so now what we do is we simply just replace this whole thing inside here. And so we will get N submission R equals to 1 F Sorry. After we read the partial fraction, we will get 1 over R minus 1 over R plus 1, right? And so now we just apply the method of difference. So first term is 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. I put in 2, followed by put in 3, I get 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. Okay, so what do you notice? You notice that this term cancel with this term, this term cancel with this term, and this term cancel with the row, of, row below, right? Okay, and in the center we just put plus dot dot, and we write the last two rows. Remember, first three rows followed by last two rows. So the second last row will be 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n minus 1 plus 1 you will get n followed by our last row which is 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 right? and so this term will cancel with the row above and this term cancel with this term so once again by the symmetrical property which I mentioned earlier I'll be left with this term one term here and another term here okay? And so my answer is 1, 1 over 1 is 1, minus 1 over n plus 1. That's it. Thank you.